So, all right. So, when what age did you actually move to Virginia? I think I don't even know. For real, bro. I was wilding out. I probably, I know it was after thirteen because thirteen I was still fucking with Dipset shit. So, okay. I think it was probably like fourteen, fifteen. My brother could tell you the years. I'm terrible with years. I'm terrible. With, I know numbers when it comes to money. I know numbers when it comes to like adding and subtracting. But as age and what year a nigga was born and when a nigga birthday, I'm terrible with that shit. So. I just know I was in my teens when I came to Virginia and I had a mindset. Boy, I had a mindset that was like, I'm about to terrorize this shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, so so thirteen is when you got here. So up to thirteen. Let's let's, let's say fourteen. So fourteen some niggas that's gonna see this shit and gonna be like, nigga, you was in the hood of thirteen. What the fuck is you talking about? Mm -hmm. I can say I, I I'm thinking of my man's right now, like nigga, this nigga lying. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to say I right, let's just say fifteen safely because I know okay, thirteen. So I was 15, still cutting up in New York. Sorry, right, so so fifteen is when you came down to Virginia. So up to fifteen, what were you doing like in your teens in New York that was like you say cutting up? Up to fifteen, I can't say all of that shit. No, no, don't say all that. But what I'm saying is, all right, what is a 15 year old doing in the Bronx? Because this is a while ago now. So what, what year? This is like what, oh four, something so like not, that. Not, so just like, 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 I. So like, what are you doing growing up at 15? Like at 15 in New York, at that point, if we talking about me at 15 in New York. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get my hands on a gun. Like, that's my first... <laughs> I'm not lying. Bro, I'm like, yo, I want my first gun. At that point, it's like, nigga, I'm old enough. I don't know if I'm going to make it to C-18. I don't know if I'm going to make it to C-21. 18 and 21 is golden years. So I'm getting close. It's approaching. Everything that I've been doing, all this shit that I've been doing out here, niggas know my name. I need a gun at this point. Like, what else we doing? I got problems. I'm beating niggas up. Niggas want to fight me every day. Niggas is coming to the school. When I when I see niggas, it's like, are we still going to fight? I heard y'all niggas is shooting niggas. Are we still fighting? You feel me? So at 15, that's that breaking point for so real. So 15. 15 for me is different from 15 for a lot of niggas. Because 15 for a lot of niggas, they thinking about, damn, I'm abused this being in this city. And I'm going to empire on being a fucking a, a, a multimillionaire. Like 15, it depends on what stage of life. You really, I can't say in the streets. I hate that term in the streets for real, for real. Um, it's your lifestyle. Like. If your lifestyle at 15, you can fucking mastermind. Like you can you have all you have everything you need to be successful in New York City if you made your mind up at 15. You feel me? So quick question. You can utilize all with, of that shit. With you if, being 15 back then and now, just keep it true. Like it's completely different. Oh shit. The world, like period. Nah, I'm scared of 15 year olds now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of them niggas. Them niggas is weird. Right. They wilding the fuck out. Like they don't, they don't have no. If my more back then, if I was scared to die at 18 and 21, these niggas is dying at 15. Mm -hmm. like, it's different. And then they hyped off of like drill music, and you know niggas is dying in Chicago, and Chicago is like. They have a big influence on New York. So it's like, them niggas, they don't give a fuck about niggas that's 30 and 40 and shit like that. They shooting everybody. So then it was a different kind of game. We fight. And then if you wanted to bring it there, we could talk gun play. But now, these niggas don't give a fuck where you from, who you from. Oh, you the big homie from where? And you from what block, nigga? They don't go. <laughs> you watch Power. I'm not Power. Uh, the Wire. You seen how the little nigga took out Omar? That's what's happening in New York right now. It's these little niggas getting these old niggas out of the way just to get a name for themselves. Remember, a name. A name will do you. A name will do you a lot. Exactly. <laughs> well, all right. So. All right, with all that being said, all right, so back then compared to now. So now you all, when you were 15, all right, who did you look up to? Like, as far as rap, because, like, you're in the rap culture, you are. So who were you looking up to? At it, I know you said something about Dipset. Dipset. Was, was it done? I with Dipset. Bro, I okay. Just, just pictures. I got so, <laughs> pink bandana, Air Forces, pink bandana pants, 
Pink bandana shirts. That was it. It was Dipset. Cameron. Cameron okay. was that guy. I ain't fuck with nobody. I don't give a fuck.